Welcome back to The Magic and the Music, I'm Jen. Today we're going to be discussing the Chase Disney Rewards Visa. Is it worth it? Should you get it? What do you get? Which version of the card is best? Are there any specific reasons you might want to have this card if you are a really, really big Disney fan? Also, if you are thinking about becoming a Disney Vacation Club member or you're a DVC member thinking of adding on, we have a great money saving tip for you, which will be coming up at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around for that one. If you decide to apply for any of these cards, please be sure to use our link in the description below. It really helps our channel a lot. All right, let's get right to it. Okay, so there are two different types of Disney Chase visas. The first one is just the regular Disney visa, and this one has no annual fee. You would earn 1% in rewards dollars on all card purchases. Merchandise discounts are also included at Disney retail locations and shopdisney.com, and that is typically 10% off a purchase of $50 or more. You would also receive 10% off select dining locations at Disney World and Disneyland, and the list is okay. I wish there were more on this list, but it's not bad. It's something. Card members also receive photo opportunities at Disney World and Disneyland. We have used these before. We've used the discounts, all kinds of things. They're actually pretty good, and especially for a card that has no fee, there's really no downside to that part of it. The second type of card is the Disney Premier Visa. This one has a $49 annual fee. And for that fee, you earn 2% in Disney rewards dollars on card purchases in grocery stores, restaurants, gas stations, and most Disney locations as well. You would earn 1% on all of your other card purchases. Premier Visa holders also have the opportunity to redeem rewards dollars for a statement credit towards airline travel. The rest of the perks for this card are actually the same as the regular Visa. So what you probably wanna know is, is it worth it? Should I get the card? There's certainly many other cards out there that are going to earn you more than just the 1% back that you have on the no fee regular Disney Visa. There is no fee for the regular Visa and I think that it's worth having if you travel to Disney parks and you can use the benefits of it or you buy a lot on shopdisney.com or in Disney stores. So if you're spending a lot of money at Disney, then you wanna to start to look at these and see if it's worthwhile for you. Now, let's get down to numbers. In order to make that $49 annual fee worthwhile on the Premier Visa, you would actually have to spend about $2,500, actually $2,450, uh, to break even or so. When you go over that, you are starting to come out ahead. You'd have to spend that money at Disney locations or grocery stores, restaurants, or gas stations with the Premier Visa and that's what it would take for it to be kind of worthwhile cost-wise. So this may or may not be a good choice for a lot of people. However, there are currently promotions running. So the Chase Disney visas often have pretty good promotions running. I know when we got ours, it was a $200 statement credit after you spent, I think, a certain amount of money on it in a certain time period. The current promotion is actually the best I've ever seen. So right now, the no fee card, just the regular Disney Visa, can earn $150 statement credit after you spend $500 on purchases in the first three months from account opening with a new Disney Visa card. Now, the really good one is the Premier. The Premier card, you earn a $300 statement credit after you spend $1,000 in purchases in the first three months of the account opening with a new Disney Premier Visa card. So that one has a really, really great incentive right now. Now, when you watch this video, these incentives could change. They do periodically, but at the moment, it's looking really good. So let's talk about these Disney Rewards points. What are these redemption points? So they are what you earn when you charge things to the Disney Visas. You would earn 1% on everything with the standard card, and then 2% on Disney locations, grocery stores, restaurants, or gas stations with the Premier card, and then 1% at all other locations with that card. These rewards points can be transferred onto a Disney Rewards Redemption card, and then you can use that for basically anything Disney. These Disney Redemption dollars can be used for anything in Disney parks, you can use them to book Disney vacations, Disney cruises, Disney store, basically anywhere you can use a Disney gift card, you can use these points. And yes, 
Also for Disney Vacation Club dues. You can use these for Disney Vacation Club dues. And you know who does? We do. Some people would rather have cash, but we're actually huge Disney fans and we travel to Disney World or Disneyland, but usually Disney World at least once a year. So we always know we have a way to spend these. Also, we always have dues to pay as DVC members. So we know that we'll be able to use these. Each month I offload whatever Disney rewards dollars I have onto my account on the rewards card. And then I pay my DVC dues with it just each month. I do the same thing right before I take a Disney trip to Disney World or Disneyland. And that just gives me some extra walking around money on my vacation. Okay, it's time for our extra special Disney Vacation Club tip. So here is our special tip for you. If you are not interested in Disney Vacation Club, you can go ahead and skip to this spot in the video and that'll take you through all the DVC stuff. It's not very long though. Our special tip is that you can actually purchase a direct Disney Vacation Club contract using a Disney Visa. Now, why would you wanna do that? Let me explain. We purchased both of our direct DVC contracts using our premier Disney visa. Why would we do this? Because they actually have a special offer that is a 0% promo APR for the first six months following the purchase date on select Disney vacation packages or purchase of Disney Vacation Club Resort. So we're gonna give you a sample transaction. Let's just say that you apply for the premier Disney visa before buying into DVC. You purchase 100 points of Riviera Resort, which is the current new resort being sold, and the current cost of those is $201 per point for a total cost of approximately $20,750, and that's including kind of an estimated closing costs. So you charge that to the Visa, and you'll get a $300 statement credit right off the bat, bringing the total cost down to $20,450. Then you would receive 2% of that amount in Disney rewards dollars, which you can apply to your dues or anything else you do at Disney, effectively bringing your total down by another $415, bringing your grand total down to just $20,035. So if you don't wish to continue paying the annual fee, you could actually cancel the card later after you're done paying this off. In this example, you would actually be saving, you would be saving $715, but if you subtracted out your one annual fee that you'd end up paying, it would actually be a savings of $666. That is a 3.2% savings overall on that Disney Vacation Club purchase. And as you probably know, there's only one other way to save money on a direct DVC purchase, and it's by buying a huge contract and getting kind of a quantity discount. So this is a great option if you were looking at smaller contract amounts. All right, so who should buy a Disney Visa? Only get this card if you're a Disney fan, I'm serious. If you spend money with Disney on a pretty regular basis or you travel there regularly, it's worth having at least the free card so that you get some of those free perks. People who value having a super cute Disney credit card are also going to want to have this in their wallet. Again, I would recommend the free one for, for you. And I know people who aren't Disney fans just don't get it. Not everyone will get it, but the right people will get it. Are there better cards out there? Yeah, but they don't have cool Disney stuff on them. So, you know, that's part of the fun of it. And they don't get me my character spot and photos and they don't get me those discounts. So again, that no fee card is really quite a good value. So our recommendation to you is if you want to enjoy the discounts, the photo ops, get the free card. If you are wanting to increase your savings on a DVC purchase or on a Disney vacation package, go ahead and get the premier card. And then you just don't have to hang on to it long term if you choose not to. If your main objective is to maximize your savings, you're probably going to find better deals with other credit cards, but they definitely won't be as cute. So if you're interested in applying or finding more information, please use our link in the description. If you apply, it does help us out. Hey, if you found this video helpful, please check out some of our other videos on our channel. Come check it out, stay a while. We always appreciate your comments and likes on our videos, and we can't wait to see you next time. Thanks for joining us today. Bye everybody.